Hello everyone, it is Justice, and today I have a treat for you. I'm gonna move my shea butter, sorry girl. We are going to go through this giant, chunky baby. So this is a Midori A5 blank notebook that I sliced into standard size myself with an X-Acto knife and a ruler. Fun fact, I used a plastic ruler for this and I like sliced through it multiple times. So as you get towards the back, it gets messier. And it's because I had a plastic ruler with multiple jagged edges and so my X-Acto knife would keep catching. Anyways, this started right around the time we got married and started our honeymoon life and then a little bit after. So this is kind of the companion to the honeymoon flip. Um, I will link that above so that you can watch it whenever you're done with this, but that journal was kind of the ephemera that I collected, whereas this is the actual like thoughts and other things. This is my more serious book, whereas that one was my fun like, oh, I'm just going to cut paste, cut paste, maybe throw some paint in and then like washi tape. This is a lot more writing and a lot more fun to me. Also, it's giant, so like double trouble girl, am I right? The front is, um... Covered in stickers, I have a pom-pom purin from Berduyen and some stickers from Good Postage in Charlotte, North Carolina. In a video I said South Carolina before. It's North, I'm, I'm just a moron sometimes. Yo seca stationery. These two are also from Good Postage. I love Cafe Bustello and a Niagara Falls sticker. This has held up really well. It even withstood, um, a coffee spill, which may or may not have sent me into a panic. And this binding is really nice. On the bottom, it has come out just a little bit, but in the top, it is there. So you can see how chunky she is whenever I just like let her go. <laughs> I would say that the Midori notebook has been amazing. And you may hear jingles, little Lulu's playing, and I'm not gonna stop her because she is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna have to blur that. But I have some AI photos. I, I did the awful thing where you purchase AI photos instead of paying an actual artist. And part of me regrets it, but this was also like a really fun phenomenon that happened. And none of these even look like me, I don't think. So here we are. We have another sticker from Burien. And this is a little picture of my Have a Nice Trip TN in some state. I have no idea where I was, but it was snowing and I thought it was really cute. Here is the first page. This is setting up for the wedding day. So we're at the venue putting things together. That's me. Um, me and my friend Lucy, we actually showed up wearing the same exact pants from Hot Topic that have Sailor Moon patches on them. So that was fun. That was really cute. This is a, I want to say a postcard from Yoseka that came with my order. And I have never received one of these, so I thought it was incredibly special. More of my good friends. This is from the same day we went to Popeye's fried chicken for lunch. We were all so tired and so hungry, so we like stopped around one or two o'clock and we all just kind of ate like zombies. This one's a bit less fun. You can see the finished venue here. Me and my mom, me and Danny little love note to myself for later. And I know that there's a lot of blank space here, but like I couldn't think of something worth putting there, so I'm just calling this done. And let's see, packing. So we packed for a honeymoon. Um, what we did is we loaded up into a van and did van life for a solid month and drove all the way around the country in a circle. We went right around 11,000 miles in 30 days, just a little bit under. And that was so hard, it was so hard to do, but it was amazing. First place we stopped was the Unicoi Adventure Park. 
Next big place, we of course like slept a couple other places, but we went to Virginia and we went to the Spy Museum in Washington DC while we were visiting my auntie. This igloo here is a wedding gift from two of, my, two of our very good friends. They got us an insulated backpack, which like I never even knew those things existed, but it came so in handy because we were able to use that for like going out places. It's gonna be an amazing picnic bag in the summer as well. So it worked out. Plus it's black and gold and you know, those, those are very nice colors to me. We brought a Yingling label with us. We didn't bring the Yingling beer for some reason, but we definitely brought the label, um, you know, priorities from a scrapbooker. And this is from Good Postage in Charlotte. You know, same place as this. I had such a great time here. It was the first time that I had ever been anywhere that has traveler's company things, um, other than whenever I was in China. So first time when I was in the States that there was traveler company things and the first time that I was at a partner store at all. So I stamped it, I was so happy and they were telling me because I was, you know, spouting off nonsense because I was so excited to be there. They were telling me that they had just gotten their partner stamp the day before as well. So I was like, oh my gosh, I am so happy about this. And the way I found it too is I'm on the email list for Traveler's Company and so they did an email blast with new partner shops. And I saw that North Carolina was there and we were like going up the states. So I was like, oh my gosh, we need to go. Please, this is perfect. It's literally serendipity and they were incredibly nice to me. Halloween. My aunt made me a coffee with little hearts in the milk foam. Oh, so sweet. This is where we're in Niagara, so I'm trying to like journal a bit while there. And you'll see in a little bit, I did some live painting while we were there. Which is here. There was a statue of Nikola Tesla at Niagara Falls. And one of my favorite things to do is to just paint or draw statues because statues don't move, but it's still kind of like a life drawing. So I did this really quick. And there's a fun memory because I'm standing there holding my book and my tiny little watercolor palette doing this and a stranger just starts talking to Danny and she's like an older lady and her husband joins them and they just have small talk for a good 15 minutes before they part ways. And it was so strange. I don't think that a lot of people do that, like just talk to people. I don't know, it was weird. It was the one and only time that happened, but it was pleasant. On the vacation, I had more pens than I had thought that I would. So I had my Twisby Mini with the Monteverde Black. I can't remember the name. Um, I had my Medium Caveco Brass that I bought at Good Postage with the Midnight Blue Cartridge. I had a Caveco Sport Fine with Namiki Blue. I had my Twisby Diamond 580 with a 1.1 stub nib with Diamine Autumn Oak. If you watched my previous videos where I'm testing out orange inks for my Sally pen, Autumn Oak was very, very strange, but it works amazing in my stub nib. Works so well, I was so happy about that. Pilot Custom 823 Fine with Iroshizuku Sutsuji. I had my Pilot Grants with a medium nib in Namiki Blue again. And last pen, I had my Pilot Vanishing Point Decimo Extra Fine with Murasaki Shikibu. Just more. More writing, because I, I love to write. I should blur this out. And a little drawing. I don't have an awful lot to say. Ooh. Food challenge, Jethro's Barbecue. One of the things that we did while we were on our trip was try and look for places that I could do a food challenge because I can put it down. I can eat a lot of food really easy. 
and it did not work out. I did the Jethro's Eating Challenge and it's been on like man versus food and all that. Like it's a very famous challenge. I swallowed a chicken tender a little bit too whole and it was over at that point. <laughs> More talk about missing 411. Um, this had to have been written while we were in Zion. I absolutely thought that we were being hunted by something being protected in the Zion Ranch or the Zion Mountains rather. We were staying at the Zion Ranch, but I felt like unsafe in the mountains. I will not go into that because it's going to make me feel like an absolute conspiracy theorist. But just know, I feel like there's some stuff in the national parks that we are not being told about and that we are being protected from. This is a bison sticker from the same place that we got for free because we were on our honeymoon. It was the one and only thing that we got for free on our honeymoon. And so I was like, yeah, absolutely. This is so nice. Thank you. This is in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's good postage. Super fun, trendy place. It really stuck with me and I was so happy with it. This, this is a really happy page. So whenever we were in Denver, Denver, Colorado, we went into a stationery store called Mininger's and I really, really, really wanted to go there. So with our trip, we knew that we were going to go through Colorado so that we could say hello to a friend. And we stopped in Denver, one, because it's a larger city, there's more to do, and two, specifically for this store. It is a two-story stationery store that also has fine art portions, so like paints, canvas, all of that good stuff. But I saw that they also had a lot of stuff that I am interested in. While there, I went to the little fountain pen area in the store, and they had a glass counter where you could see things. And it was, it was really nice for me because immediately I felt like I connected with the gentleman that was working there and I completely forget his actual name, but his IG handle is grown ass man band. And he did give me permission to say that in the video because I sent him a message probably months ago at this point being like, hey, this is really special. Do you mind if I like tag you whenever I do my flip and stuff so that people can find you if they want to? And he agreed. But while we were there, he kind of noticed my enthusiasm with the pens. I had a lot of knowledge and I was showing my now husband a ton of different pen models that I had seen online but never seen in person. And he was letting me use his pens. And so he let me use a Sailor Music Nib. Um, this one, this one really stuck with me. I loved this pen. It was a vintage platinum pen with an 18 karat gold nib. It was all silver and it had little ridges in it and it was like cool to the touch and it was fairly small not like a pocket pen or anything but it definitely was not a giant pen it wrote so smooth he said that he had recently got it at a pen show i cannot wait until i can go to my very first pen show and have the same experience because that is an amazing pen he also let me use his caveco lilliput with ancient copper another caveco lilliput broad i'm not really a broad girl but Lilliputs are adorable. Another Lilliput, this one just with copper. And he said, congratulations, enjoy Denver, come back and visit. It's called Mininger's, if I didn't say it before. And he did a little doodle. I thought it was super cute. I like handed him my notebook whenever we were checking out. And I was like, could you like write me a little note? I would love that so much. I had to have been there at least 30, 45 minutes just staring at things. These little stamps are for from the Denver Museum of Art and Science. They had like a little booth for children with little stamps. Obviously, I am the best child. They also had kombucha there. So while we were at the Museum of Art and Science, we were starving right before we had our planetarium visit. And so we went to the little food court before it was closing, grabbed a slice of pizza, grabbed a salad and a kombucha. And we had to hork it down because there's no food or drink allowed in the planetarium. It hurt so bad, but it was so silly and worth it. Got this stamp from Mininger's as well, and I love him. He's my little protector. Don't have a name for him yet. I'm trying to just list video ideas because I was toying with the idea of Vlogmas this year. Obviously, it didn't happen because, you know, life is hard and my brain doesn't work all the time but i have ideas there
This is when I got my Kaweco L Sport in Ruby and my Kaweco L Sport in Iguana Blue and I got some cartridges to match them. Super cute, I love those little pens. If you also follow Toxic Tears, I love her. Um, I am definitely alternative and I followed her for many, many years and so there was like a whole YouTube drama thing I love her, I support her, and I highly, highly doubt that she's watching my video considering that I am nowhere near that space on YouTube. But just know I feel for you, girl. We got some tarantulas for the first time, if you don't know what they are. If you're an adult, look it up. I'm not gonna say anything. I had some Pentel Energel testing here from the giveaway I won with Atlas Stationers over in Chicago. Shopping list, stuff in the fridge I need to use. Sometimes my brain doesn't work, so I have to just write it out. My Goulet packing slip. More pictures from the honeymoon. This is at my auntie's house. She has a lot of dogs. This is our dog, Mr. Diesel. He stole the show and tried to take their little bed. And this is Yuma the cat. I fell in love with her. This is Yule Log from the Diamine Inkvent calendar. I need to use it in a larger nib. It's a shimmer and so it kept getting stuck. Here, I tried to start like swatching the Inkvent calendar as we went on. It did not work out. Um, I can't remember to do that every single day so it kind of pittered out. More Pentel Energel pen tests. This is a name tag from a Christmas party we went to. More pen tests. I've gone through so many stamps. My name tag from the Christmas party. A cute picture of me and some of our friends there. I look really cute in that picture. That's a good picture. Fun fact, we took one single picture and all of us look really good in it. Not quite sure who prayed to who, but like it worked out. Testing some mechanical pencils. I had my sister's baby shower. There was a beautiful charcuterie board and some delicious little cookies. Here's me going into FODMAP. I have a really sensitive stomach and I kind of just deal with it but I've been trying to do an elimination diet and I have found out that I have so many things that hurt my stomach from this list and I'm really bitter about it because I am a foodie, I love food, I am a big girl. Um, I also love to cook. So knowing that a lot of things that are delicious are no longer in my foods that are safe category, it does hurt me, but I'm not gonna just abide by a FODMAP diet. It's just gonna be, oh, well, I've had gastrointestinal distress for a solid week. I should probably calm it down, right? Right. This is a restaurant in Virginia called Jackson's. One of the fancier restaurants that I've ever been to. Um, my auntie and my cousin went with us there and it was a really nice experience. We hung out with my friend Lucy for International Lolita Day. Um, if you know about Lolita fashion, then you're going to understand. If not, then I'm gonna clarify this really quick. Lolita is a fashion style that came out of Japan based off of Rococo and Victorian styles, mostly Rococo. It is based in like anti-sex because people did not want to think that their lives were just going to be being married off to men. So they decided to start dressing up how they wanted to as an active form of rebellion against having to marry and just be adults. And it's, it's essentially like punk rock. It's very punk rock, but very girly. It is in no way, shape or form connected to the book Lolita by Vlad, Vlad, <laughs> Vladimir Nabokov. Is that what it was? It is not connected to that. It is not related to pedophilia or sex sexualization of children in the least. So please know it is a fashion. It is not connected to any of that. We saw some geek lights. We baked some cookies and she showed up in a really cute cord. Went to another baby shower. One of our friends is having a baby. And this are some pictures from hers. Um, it was set up, it was gorgeous, and I absolutely took some doggy bags. Some more pictures from the vacation. 
This is about when I actually got out my HP sprocket and started like actually printing everything. Mr. Diesel got a sock in one of our hotels. Someone left their sock in the laundry room and so I just went ahead and claimed it for him. And it was so cold, he just wore it. And I was like, oh my gosh, we should probably get you like an actual pair of socks because you're kind of enjoying this. Remember when I said that foods hurt my stomach and I don't care? I'm lactose intolerant and these are some cheeses I bought. Cute little postcard from Mininger's. Talking about morning routines and how much I love the cats and the dog. Traveler's Diner. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm going to do an entire video on it just because I, I don't think that I can get an entire video's worth of content from just talking about an announcement. But the amount of joy that I felt whenever this came out so happy. I happened to book an event at another partner shop just to find out that it's going to be a traveler's diner event. Oh, I am so happy about that. I went ahead and pre-ordered this little set. There's no way I couldn't. You know me. I am like hyper fixated on this brand. I simp for this brand and I don't get it. But here we are. I had to just write about how excited I was. Another little drawing. This is with a glitter highlighter, by the way. You can buy the set from Jet Pens, just glitter highlighter. I think there's four or five. I'm so sick of these stickers, but I'm finally done with that book. So you're not gonna see these stickers in another flip through ever again. I finally used them up. Danny had me write down cards for like his his dream fantasy Magic the Gathering deck. I did a Sanrio order and got a really cute Christmas card for one of my BFFs. Wrote down a sugar cookie recipe. I haven't tried it out yet, but this is supposed to be like a rival to the grocery store sugar cookies where they're kind of soft, but kind of fake, but you can make them yourself. Oh my gosh. More talking about YouTubers that I follow because YouTube is like my main source of entertainment throughout the day. Jenna Marples and Julian got married. I followed Jenna back whenever she did videos for bar Barstool Sports. So like I've been there for a while and it broke my heart whenever she left the internet, but I completely understood why. It's because of people, not necessarily like me, because I wasn't showing up at her house like an absolute psychopath, but I absolutely felt like she was my friend, but she had no idea who I was parasocial relationships and all of that. That being said, I was completely overjoyed to see that she and Julian got married and the dogs got to participate and Mr. Marbles was there. I like sobbed, I sobbed seeing these. It just made me so happy. I am so happy for them both. Oh my gosh, this is talking about Ozark, the TV show. Um, there is a particular scene, I think I'm in like season four, and it was just rough. It was really rough. It stuck with me. There's few things that I can see in media that will actually like shock me to my core and stick with me as an image, particularly as someone that grew up with a child, grew up as a child, pardon, of a mom who loved like CSI, NCIS, dead bodies, blah, blah, blah. So there's, there's like very few things that will actually get to me. That scene really got to me. The Diamine Ink Vent Calendar. This is my first time participating. I bought this at Mininger's as well, so it was extra special to me. Um, here are all of the swatches. By the time this video comes out, it will be well after Christmas. So like, we're gonna be good. My favorite, Spruce. I don't really get the scented bit I can like smell it a little bit, but it's a very wet green ink that kind of sheens red. Think of it, well, I think of it rather, as um, like Emerald of Shavor minus the glitter. So it's a bit more behaved and less blue. So this is a really nice Christmas ink. 
Um, I also really like the color of Dusted Truffle, but I haven't put it in a pen yet. I'm afraid it might be dry. No idea. Upon a Star, the Chameleon ink. Obviously a winner. Serendipity as well. Pick Me Up is okay. It's kind of like baby poop. We'll see. Same with Olive Swirl. Arctic Blast. Ooh, I have not owned an ink like this, but I've heard that... Um, Diamine, I think it's Arctic Fox. Pens and Tea talks about it fairly often. I think that that may be fairly similar to this, but it has like this very, very light blue shimmer that I love. Best Wishes is okay. It's got a really cute green shimmer, so whenever I use it, I know it's going to be in a bigger nib. Probably my stub nib. A lot of the colors I wasn't a huge fan of, like Bliss, Ghost, mm, Cardinal, Apple teeny, cozy up, one more sleep, celebration. I think that those are all going to be too light for my eyes. Um, so whenever I use them, I'm gonna try to set my myself up for success with a big wet nib, but I think that they may be a little bit too light. And here we start December daily. Um, I had a goal to do December daily this year, which is a little bit dumb, I guess, in hindsight, because I journal every day anyways. So there's really nothing special or original about me doing December daily, except I use the Diamine Ink Vent calendars for the date and then swatch the ink on every single day, except for the 17th because I lost this thing. I don't know where it is. I did a lot more negative space. Um, I, I'm glad I did it. I am so not comfortable with this form of journaling. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through this. I love this little tape. Oh. Like none of these seem very unique to me. They're all kind of regurgitated, but it's because by the time I was done doing my normal journaling, I was like, oh crap, right. I was supposed to do December daily. Cool, 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 cool. And that is the end. That is the end of this little book. And on the very back, just so you can see, I have like my little pen tests whenever my pens get stuck. Um, and then my Instax printer printed two of this one. Uh, I just have two now. And I didn't want to waste it because those freaking pieces of paper are expensive. So you live there now, girl. That is it. This has been a few months of my life that I have shared with you. And I hope that you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you would like to. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. How you felt about this if you have any commentary about anything that i've said if you also follow the youtubers that i follow and you know just have a good day thank you so much bye everyone